Hi, in this video, we will learn how to add three digit numbers using grouping method. The process is similar to adding two digit numbers. Okay, let us take two numbers as 142 and 216 and find out their sum. Let us show these numbers in terms of hundreds, tens, and ones. Number 142 can be shown like this as we have 1 at the hundreds place. So, I have 1 hundreds square here. At the tens place, there is 4. So, I have 4 tens lines here. And there is 2 at the ones place. So, we have 2 squares to show 2 ones. Same way, we can show number 216 in terms of hundreds, tens and ones. As we have 2 at the hundreds place, so I have 2 hundreds squares. At the tens place, there is 1. So I have 1 one tens line. And there is 6 at the ones place. So we have 6 squares to show 6 ones. For addition, we need to show all numbers together. Okay? We always start addition or subtraction from ones place. Let us bring all ones squares together. We have two ones in 142. I will move it below with six ones in 216. For the tens place, we have four tens in 142. So for addition, I will bring four tens down with 216. And we are also going to do the same for the hundreds place as well. We have 100 in 142. I will bring it down with two hundreds in 216. Now it looks good. So what you see here is the result when you add 142 and 216. Let us write the number we see here. At the hundreds place, we have three hundreds. So I will write three here. At the tens place, we have one, two, three, four, and five tens. So I will write five here at the tens place. And for the ones place, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight ones. So I will write eight at the ones place. So the number we get after adding 142 and 216 is 358. Okay. I will write 358 here. Hope you understood this concept. I will take one more example. Let us add 237 and 125. Okay. In this case as well, let us show these two numbers in terms of hundreds, tens and ones. We show number 237 like this. We have two hundreds for the hundreds place, then three tens for the tens place and seven ones for the ones place. Similarly, we can show number 125 like this. There is one hundred at the hundreds place, two tens at the tens place and five ones at the ones place. Now we know that in addition, we bring all numbers together. Let us do it. We will start with ones place. So I will move seven ones from 237 below. Now at the ones place, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. We have twelve ones. This is more than ten. We know that 10 ones is equal to 110. So let us convert 10 ones to 110 and move it at the tens place. See here. We have replaced 10 ones squares with one tens line. Okay. Now at the ones place, we have two. At the tens place, we have one, two, and three tens. Okay. Now let us move 3 tens from 237 to 125. Now at the tens place we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 tens. At the ones place we have 2 ones. Okay. 
Now we will move two hundreds from two hundred thirty-seven to one hundred twenty-five. So at the hundreds place we have one, two, and three. Three hundreds. Okay. Let us see which number we get after adding two hundred thirty-seven and one hundred twenty-five. So the number we get is three six two. That is three hundred and sixty-two. I write it here. Sum of two hundred thirty-seven and one hundred twenty-five is three hundred and sixty-two. Okay. I hope you understood this concept. Please practice more examples to learn this concept better. Thanks for watching.